Okay, guys, we're back. Game of Thrones. We're in the North Grove with He's these lying. crazy people. Look at him. He's a crow. Yes, I'm a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Uh, Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I'm gonna ask me questions. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. I'm sure Cotter does. <laughs> but I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? My pendant. Uh, if you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. So dirty. Harida East. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. Yeah, Our friend badass. is wounded. Poke it like I did. He won't live long without our help. Hi V. Hi V. <laughs> Wait. Where are it's you taking him? It's a store in? where I live. In case you're all wondering. Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl. I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. Well... My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against away the forces of darkness during neck, the long please? night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. Well, you're really a long sure. way from home. Aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, The North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago. Betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? I wonder if there's his bastard children. He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Yeah, we Gregor went send and They're burning. friends. <laughs> Why don't you guys like have torches instead of swords? Seems like a much better what idea. What about them? Hiftonies! What? No! Let me go! You'll be safe. Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I can handle whites. I fought the dead before. Your confidence will get you killed. There's a giant bear. 
This place is evil, Garrett. I can feel it. Oh, whatever. There's something wrong with these people. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Okay, well, I'm ready for a battle. Man, my sword looks super jagged. <laughs> it's not in the best of shape. Uh, okay, let's battle. Or not. Battle with our minds. Hey, dude. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Gods, they're searching your room. Shoot, they're gonna see my adult things. Break it down! Search the place! <gasps> They're coming what? after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, I should have kept that knife. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. Oh my god. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, lady. If soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... Someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those Let's guards move. catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. <laughs> That's a no-go. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Yeah, we should I get have out. to get out of the keep. Or I'm done for. <sighs> you, my lady? We're in this together. Like it or not. Why? No one knows you did anything. But thanks. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Ah! Who's there? Nobody. Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Don't do it, Tom. Get to the colliers. Tell no. Gotham I sent you. Why does everyone I like die? Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him. Don't fight. <laughs> no, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Don't look at me. They'll know. Oh my god. Why, Tom? Why? Ugh. Oh, this started out good, now it's just going terrible. I wonder if there was any way I could have saved him. Maybe if I dodged faster. I always get complacent and I like put down my controller. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible, terrible thing. And I've paid dearly for it. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's quite the army. Holy crap. Wow. I got like seven people. Go, go, go! Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard at Thank it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. 
I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Just shoot him. Don't even hear what he has to say. I really don't care about Ryan. Ryan? Fuck. Crossbow's up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. Oh, where did that come from? Oh my god. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. You put too much stock in Ramsay's terms, Lord. Terms set by a madman. Terms that I never agreed to. You really think Lord Ramsay will ask if you're in favor of his terms? Before flaying you alive for breaking them? Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood? Under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding my queen. Oh. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't. And if I tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> Look at my fucking army. If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. It really is, if we're gonna be honest here. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother! A surprisingly honorable gesture, Lord. Of course it was! You have an hour! I'll be waiting in my camp. Why is he so beat up? Why- what? Man, there's gonna be a showdown between us. What am I gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I really don't know. Let's see if that's even him. Sorry, little brother. Well, I don't know what to say to that. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. He will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But forgive me, I, I just. 
Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but this isn't real. The Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. I don't know what to do. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! I don't know what to do. <laughs> Believe me! Oh my I want to kill every last fucking one of them! But we just don't have the numbers. The Unless pressure. We take them on our terms. Inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. Simple. We tell Lord exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. We're not doing poison. Poison. In his wine. No. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We oh only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, like there's no way to control. Worse. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my store. Oh my god. No. I came here to wet my sword and wet your blood. And we're gonna do an ambush. It's what you promised us. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Yeah, because at the last have a plan. moment, you know he's gonna be like, nah, you drink the wine first. And I'll be like, shoot. And then he'll be like, oh, okay. This wasn't right. This wasn't on the other. Never happens to me. I need you to get Ryan out alive. Oh, freaking Ryan. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. Well, I've forgotten really the number of works, times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. This is going to go so bad. I'm calling it right here and now. <laughs> oh. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's going to go like 2. She's left the key! Woo! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester, you're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Stop glaring at everybody. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? Yes, please. The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? 
Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. And I plan to take full advantage. Let's be <laughs> a friends. bold claim for a handmaiden on the run from the guard. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers. I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. What? Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Oh, shoot. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Ah! ah. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? Oh, he has my head. It's just his foot. Oh! <laughs> Damn you! We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! <laughs> Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you are looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. You don't need to do this, Lucan. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Shoot, is she really gonna die? Oh, God. Oh. Why do I keep playing this game? It's just terrible. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. What and he that? was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. 
But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. She sounds so ominous. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Um. What the hell? Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befasta. Can someone tell me what's going on? I'm ready. Is that the bow? No, I am horrible with the bow! Oh my god! Why is my dude just standing here? Oh god. Oh, fruit. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, God! Finn! Alright, Finn. I beat you once before. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, oh. oh I thought that was my hand. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Not dead. Oh god, he's right there. Come on, come on. circle. Oh, uh, he's still not okay. Whew. You seem like you're a hazard. Why can't you like climb up in a tree and do that? Or at least, like, lay down like you're dead or something. Come on. Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong. But you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. Yes, it has. Well, this this you world kind of well. sucks, so it's probably for better off. Crew. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. <gasps> Are we we'll friends? See. Ah, we're friends. Killing them, I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. 
You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. These people are like robots. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... Fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. This is so... The more my sister's doing. Not mine. Uh-oh. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. Whatever liar. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bisonir. This is weird. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn, Suna! <laughs> what? Wait! Fulgorn Bisonir. You're losing control. Could someone please tell me what's happening? What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Can I ride the bear? That would be awesome. Or just snuggle up with him? Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? I don't know. To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. You're right. House Forester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Well... What's so special about this place, though? That, that, that's the answer right there. If it's, like, extra special, then you should probably keep it. Never trust a fucking wildling. She probably went to her brother. Jesus. Calm down, guys. Woo! Hear me roar! Oh, I'm so dirty. How long have I been here? <laughs> oh, teeth. Ew. Don't touch them. Oh god. There's a human teeth. So proper. Okay. Let's look at the blood. Oh, it looks fresh. It looks like they didn't make it to the block. Is there anything I could- ooh, let's look in the bucket. Ugh, disgusting. Uh, what's here? A rat hole? Nice. Hey, little friend. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. A plague upon their house. Is there anything over here I can look at? I don't see anything. Okay, wait. Hey, Torch. Let's be friends. I want to be friends with everything. Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! <clears throat> uh, 
Hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. What's going on? <clears throat> Bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can uh, leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I wasn't. I, I wasn't giving you any look. Don't deny it. I saw the disgust in your eyes. As if you never did anything you were ashamed of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. You think I give two shits about your judgment? What would you do in my place? I don't care about your situation. I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. I like how I have a torch hidden, Mira, hidden in my dress. making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What's he gonna do to me? What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. What? I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets, and I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. What? Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course. And I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline. Your precious Forester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. One way or another. Oh. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together? as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought. 
but not what I had in mind. Well... It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. Oh my life. god, you're insane. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my ads. Dude, you're insane. I'm not doing it. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to no, marry me. No, it is not You'll worth give up it. your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. No, not worth it. No, nope, not doing it. She's gonna die. So, Mira. I what didn't do like you her say? as a character, anyways. I say you no. You will never have Iron Wrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. Should have attacked him. That would have been way more uh, satisfying. Is it going to show me dying? <sighs> Man. <laughs> this is going so bad. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. That's I need huge. you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. I will. All right. You can trust me. It's better I'll than do having the right turned thing. to a zombie. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain. Do I really have to walk all the way up there? Ah, uh, sigh. Oh, I have to walk now. Hi, hi. How are you? Oh my god, what is going on? You're gonna turn into one of those things, aren't you? That is not happening. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> <coughs> Look at your shoulder. Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. <sighs> Remember your promise, Garrett. 
so many promises. I need to stop ah. throwing those out. You said you'd leave me behind. Ah. To help Sylvie. Got her. Oh. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. God is a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. No. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North grow. No. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. No. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Gary. Please. I can't take it any longer. Then just freaking die. And his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Um, I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't really give him that blood magic, and his blood will be useless. Yeah, I'm not very. Just use his blood to give us strength. I'm not really into blood magic. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Calm down, woman. Obviously, this can't work forever anyways. <sighs> Must be a peaceful death. At least there's that. Holy crap, that is instantaneous. Bison air. We must burn the body. These people are a little crazy. <laughs> Where do they get their people, though? Is are they just wildlings that they find? Must be, huh? So it's pretty much just the two real people. Woo! And the rest are blood magic people. Okay, here's Your this. Your fighters are in place, my lord. Once they're all seated at the table, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. And here we go at the end of the episode, guys. <laughs> uh, no yelling. Shh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.